double dragon XP here and we're back again with some more Gotham Knights. And we have to go meet Patalia, so let's get this going. Etch! Excuse me. Didn't mean to sneeze. I guess we're running there right now. Or she's just on top of that building right there. The GCNB. Whatever that is. Not sure why she has an affinity. Of meeting people on rooftops. Let's see what Talia Al Gore has to say. The Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow and they rule you. One and all. You knew. All along you knew and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. Are we gonna fight her when or I'm something? Still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. Also, Dionysium is the court has been looking for a fountain of whatever's in the Lazarus Instead, Lazarus the pit. Lazarus, sorry. Guess we know how the talons are cooked up then. Thanks for that. But why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus pit? Then control them from the inside. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus pits. You don't treat the last greed is it's any different than the downfall. Oh, those are some harsh words. Or the root of all evil. Or is that After saying for all, money? Your friend Jason Same thing. Benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the voice so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls yeah, But what do you want out of this? Still unanswered on that front. Hey Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Right, they're trying to do something with Dionysium. Hmm. That's how they bring back their Talons or whatever. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions. But free will's as good as gone. 
So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> Nightwing has jokes I at his expense. Voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. Dirtbag Central, I like that. Together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. Is there ever going to be a part where we're going to do something together? Got new intel for the evidence board. We've got reports of criminal activity. And that's Hendrix. We need officers near the Gotham Naval Research Facility. We must seal the court. Now get this door open. I'll do it. Court goons. Hendrix has to be here somewhere. Not that one guy, but there's more of them. You're testing that. I'm okay in here. Focus on them first. Time for another round. Help me when you can. Just don't forget I'm here, okay? We need to slow her down! Show her numbers! This isn't over yet. Okay, well, screw you guys. Buddy, they're dead. Or knocked out. I had a feeling this day was coming. You wouldn't believe the things that I heard at the hotel. The court probably wanted to make sure you didn't talk. Shit, they're real? That explains the masks. Yes, Look, they're real, bro. One of my guys was feeding them in. I know it's hard to believe. You, know you should probably have all the same intel too. Thanks. This is incredibly helpful. This city is going to the birds, I swear. Belfry, Hendrix is safe and sound. I have the data we need as well. Excellent. Please return to the Belfry so we can evaluate next steps. We're near the scene. Right, well, we're coming back. Get 
We're gonna keep it on easy from now on because not like I'm going for a hundred percent in this game. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. That's good to know. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago, to root out corruption all over the world. Right. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. And that is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. It's all connected. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. That makes and sense. Without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. Sounds simple really enough, but it's not. Excellent. The drive Mr. Hendricks provided us contains exactly what we need. I've set up a safe house for Mr. Hendricks. His original one was compromised, but he'll be all right now. All right, well, that's the end of this part on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.